I think the question you may be thinking about is the bill that came before the House last year. It was a bill, I think it was HB 803. I thought the bill had some issues with it. I didn't think, A, it was constitutional. Two, I think there was a lot of questionable politics behind that bill, and it was bad policy. But I am on record, and I have been on record, supporting personal property protections against unjust, eminent domain, unless there's a proven public use. Not a, you know, a gray area here or there. You know, right now, now I'm sure you all know about it, is that there's a, a ballot initiative, 31, that everybody in this room has an opportunity. If you want to increase the eminent domain protections in the state of Mississippi, we need to get 90,000 signatures. And we can get it put on a ballot in 2011. And we can put this issue to rest. My understanding of that, that vote is that it went past in the House 118 to 3. Uh, 118 of our legislature supporting eminent domain reform that would stop the government from taking private property and giving it to private corporations. It also passed in the Senate, and then it was vetoed by Haley Barber. Again, it passed in the House overwhelmingly, and then there were some votes that Haley was able to get out of the Senate so it didn't pass again. Um, my understanding, if I can read it right, you vote against eminent domain reform both times. Um, I don't believe in reading that bill, that's, that's upholding and defending the Fifth Amendment of the United States. Um, I think we have a fundamental right to property, and that the bill, as written, an eminent domain reform bill that came before our legislature and our governor, should have been signed in law to protect our fundamental property rights. Um, I will be signing the eminent do domain reform bill, the initiative, 31, I guess not the bill, but the, the initiative, and I'll be working to get the 90,000 signatures in the state side also.